Good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel once again and welcome to another episode of my Tank Request series. Uh, who is who is actually requesting me for to take this tank out? It was USS Wisconsin. Yes, it was. My memory is a bit shady right now. It is getting later in the evening and I cannot remember, but the M48 Pattern Man, one of my favorite medium tanks at tier 10, one of the medium tanks at tier 10 that needs a bit more love. It's a, it feels like the feels like the FE4202 now in its old state. Now, I wonder if I can get here in time without getting spotted. I'm hopefully going to be able to get up the hill and do what I need to do. The pattern is more commonly known as the Fatten because of its size and it's not the quickest. But it does have a decent gun, a decent rate of fire, which could use buffing. Definitely. Definitely needs a better rate of fire. That would, that would probably, well, it just needs the PC changes that it has. I think. I think it was changed on PC. Pretty sure it was. But anyway, this spot right here is glorious. I'm going to hug this rock on the left hand side to stop artillery from hitting me. That 215B has been very brave. Now he's going to get punished for it. He's probably going to be looking this way now. Which he is. Hello. Oh, I can't believe that bounced, but okay. I'm definitely going to reload before him, so let's go for that. The armor is not reliable whatsoever. I don't know how that IS-3 bounced me, but he must have hit me somewhere obscure. And, oh my god, that guy's going to go for me. But he's not fully upgraded, so it's fine. Me and this 62A should easily be able to handle him. He said before the Yag came around the corner. But the Yag ain't hitting me right now. That was also a nice bounce that I wasn't expecting. Should be able to hit the Yag, which we did. Already off to a nice start, eight hits. Make that nine. Me and this T62A are handling business. I actually recognize Rao Boy. I'm surprised that he. Wow, okay, so switching attention to the other side of the map, 100%. We do have tanks that are spotting them as well, which is great. That's exactly what I need. This could be a shooting gallery as long as they stay here like this. That's a nice track shot as well. So now I am a target. But this is exactly what you want to be doing. Just in a position like this, shooting targets like that. I've got a bad feeling that they might cap the pace though. Can I hit that? Wow, I can hit that guy. Nice turret too. I uh, don't know what happened there, a bit of lag. I should have aimed that better. On the move. So I'm actually going to have to push because nobody's spotting the base now. That was bad. Took some damage. Shit. Yep, they're going to win by cap. How lame. That's cool, guys, but maybe hit the guys that are on the cap, like that guy. That sucks.
I couldn't get there in time. No way I could have got there in time. Good game nonetheless though, but just kind of frustrating when that happens because uh, there should have just been more people to defend that side, but that's very rare. I very rarely see that stuff happen on Corellia. I don't know how you guys fare on it, but that never seems to happen for me. It always seems to be that the fight is at the hill. And as you can see, we got off to a good start and we, you know, we've done sub 5,000 damage with 1,500 assisted. But unfortunately, couldn't get the win. Their team just YOLO'd the flag and obviously didn't care how much damage they did because, I mean, <laughs> look at the comparison 4,000, 5k from me top person on their team was their artillery with 4,000 the rest didn't even break 2,000 which sums it up but <sighs> they won the game and I pretty much got I got as much XP as the guy who won the game or the guy with the most XP on their team I got one XP less than him for losing the game because that's what happens when you rush the flag and you don't get any damage but We'll move on to the next game and hopefully we'll be able to pull something better out of the bag. That actually would have been... That would have been great. <laughs> I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I was on 5k already and there were so many tanks left with so much health to do more damage to. I'm gutted. That could have been like 5, 6, 7k. Maybe even 8 for a push, but whatever. No point dwelling on it. We'll move on to the next game and I will catch you there. And we are going to see how we do here on Mines, but it's not looking good because the enemy team has a Batchat and an STB-1 and a T-62A and they are going to beat us to the hill, which undoubtedly means that they are going to win the game. Don't really know what the Lorraine is doing, but okay. Um, oh, it's, yeah, there you go. There you go. And you have to push up. You have to push on him because otherwise they get that hill and then it's over. Can't get the tracking shot. This is what we need to do. This is exactly what we need to do. Not like that though. Oh yeah, okay. Water load is a fair. Fucking move! Nice one, mate. Lorraine, you're just going to get rinsed there. Of course, it hits the corpse. This is what happens, though. It's embarrassing. Nice one. Shit. There's no point fighting here. They've won the hill. And all because of one T62A that can get there first. Because I spawn as far away as humanly possible from the hill. Not that a pattern would beat a T62A there anyway. But I at least could have got maybe a shot into him. Maybe a track. And then the tanks near to me could have done some more damage. But it's just mine's... It's just so unfortunate that Mines is determined by who wins the hill. And if you have the faster medium, well, you've won. It's as simple as that. E3, please, just square off against them and just go ham. I've already used my repair kit as well. That's not good. I'm actually going to get involved in the town. This is something that I rarely ever do anymore. I used to do it a lot when I was a new player, but like going to the town is completely pointless. And Jesus Christ, how many auto loaders do they have? T57, 50B, Batchat, 120, 100. Nice. It's always good to contend against that many. Good. They can't spot me here either. That's nice. 
That's the side of a T32 that I just bounced. The game not being very pious towards me. Frames, please don't drop like that, it's horrible. There we go. So this is, well it was good, now it's not. That's annoying. It's actually working out nicely here. That 50B is probably going to be reloaded any second though. He is. He is taking some punishment now. Don't knock that tree over, whatever you do. Hey, I'm on a three. How's it hanging back there? <laughs> Engine shot. Okay, yeah, we'll just miss. I'm okay with that. Don't drop down. Ugh, man. I thought he dropped down, and then he, of course, he pops back up as I shoot. So, actually, somehow we've turned this around, or at least we've done well for ourselves. 50B is still around there. And I do not want to get caught in the open. Of course. Because why do damage when you can just track him? Lol. today boys it was bad that they know that I'm here but I mean obviously I was shooting them so they're gonna know I'm here but no way to win this game now unfortunately I am keeping this flank safe but with the TDs that are sat back there as well it's just like well you haven't got a hope really It would bounce him. M103's turrets are terribly bad. I should be able to hit these mediums if they keep coming forward. And that's me dead. Not today. Well, not like these. guy though. Yep, there you go. Lol. It's going to end in tears one way or another. Wouldn't mind killing that T-57 heavy in the process though. me. It's just annoying because I've had a good game but now I can't do anything against this lot. Ooh, keep coming. Yep, would miss. 10 out of 10. The shot that would kill him is the one that misses.
Rip. That's good. That's exactly what we need. But those heavies are still up around here, and that's just not good for me whatsoever. Hmm, interesting. That had to be a nice roll, and fortunately it was. Thank you, T54. We may be able to pull this back now, but if the bat chat comes on me, <laughs> definitely going to have to censor that out. If the bat chat comes around here, I'm screwed, basically. He's right there. I need to be able to hit him. Shit, I'm gonna die. Ooh, maybe not. There's something camping back there and it's an ISU which is fucking not good. Tracked him. Need you to spot him again. E seventy five. What health is that guy on? Not good enough. Shit. The Death Star is going to be over here somewhere. There he is. Don't you dare. Of course. Because, I mean, it's that accurate. <laughs> salty. I am salty. So salty. Because I never should have got that score from that game. Never should have got that score. Well played by the T62A, but that's what happens when you get the hill. When you get the hill first, you're never going to win. Doesn't matter how much damage you do. It was just a case of salvaging my game. And I salvaged my game. But I'm not happy with that whatsoever. At all. At all. 